Today I'm going to show you how to draw a bat wing and another bat wing exactly the same to get them perfect. Hi, I'm Bill Flowers. Today we're drawing the micro bat. Cute little things and so get your pencil and paper out and draw along with me. Okay, here's a poor little bat that's encased in a bit of plastic here. But it's a real bat, a micro bat. It shows you just how small these guys could be. This would be an adult. And I'm going to be drawing this one today. What you'll need is a pencil, piece of paper, and a little bit of tracing paper if you can find some. I'm going to, about the middle here, just draw a line right down the middle. First of all, the body here. It's almost like a little letter V shape or a cup shape really. And a leg coming out here like this. And just the front part of the arm. It's a little elbow there. There's a bone leading up to the hand. It's a little thumb. And here is going to be the other part of the wing. So they have a thumb and they have four fingers, but the first two fingers are fused together to make this outer finger much stronger. There's a little join there. Out here, I'm going to do the other finger and another finger here like that. Now, this one's got a tail coming down like that. Now we're going to do the curved bits here. And it's fluffy there. The head's going to be here. And the ear there and there. And there's a bit of skin there too. Now, to get the other wing exactly the same, tracing paper. That's simple, isn't it? I hope you weren't looking for some complicated answer there. Because light boxing's the other way. So when I trace, nice heavy line. I draw on the tracing paper, this center line here. Now comes the simple bit. Right, I'm going to now trace this. Yeah, it's coming through. And there we have, pretty much perfect. I'm going to define this a bit more, especially here. And what I do here, I do over here at the same time, so I don't forget any bits. So this becomes furry. Now getting the shape of these feet here. There's a knee bone here. I can actually thicken this leg here up a bit. And here. These mechanical pencils are good just for drawing, but they're not very good for shading. I'm going to go for just a normal pencil. When you sharpen it with a knife, then you hold the pencil like this. you can shade a lot quicker and faster. So let's give it a bit of shade. So what I'm doing here, if you can imagine your, your pencil like this, now just give a line like that, but if you can get your pencil on the side here like this, well then you could be doing a much thicker line. It makes shading faster. That's why we hold the pencil like that sometimes. Don't often have as much control over it, which is why some people are not keen on holding the pencil this way. 
but sometimes that lack of control gives a little bit more of a random feel to it makes it look a bit more wild and free and that's good in your art just pressing a little bit harder see I've still got my pencil right laying on its side I can just use it a little bit harder and concentrate on some bits a bit more now I've got shade, I want to put more shade just around the joins and the fingers to make them stand out now just over the shading I'm just doing some lines like this just to indicate the folds and the bat wings now I've got that shading down I'm going to define some features here like this floor I'll go over that more shading here on these joints under here and on the outer here I'm doing a thicker heavier line so it's a very fairly quick sketch but a good idea on how to draw a microbat I'll just make these bits here just come out like they're fluffy it's one of the things about them so so fluffy And I think it's time for me to quit this and go and do something else. And that was the Microbat. Check out some of my other videos if you like. I draw all sorts of things. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And if you do, subscribe. See you next time.